Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello, family. Are you ready for a little evolution? This is good stuff. Yeah, actually, instead of doing like a two or three hour video, um, we're going to break this kind of up into segments um, and build on it because I do have our own Dr. Renee yes. going and doing some research on a paper that I found today that was really interesting. And I can't wait to share all this with you guys. So scientists just discovered a mysterious organ lurking in the center of the human head. That's pretty incredible right there. First off, haven't we like dissected enough cadavers to know every single little millimeter in the human body? One would think yes. Yes. So medical researchers and this is, this is from the 20th of October, 2020, 2020, 20, 20, 20 right? Medical researchers have made a surprise in an anatomical discovery, finding what looks to be a mysterious set of salivary glands hidden inside the human head, which somehow may have been missed by scientists for centuries up to now. Yeah, sure. Oops. Oopsie, yeah. <laughs> Let me just preface this too by saying that was the first time I read anything about ascension and the changes that were going to be happening in at the time period that we now find ourselves living in was back at the end of the 80s uh, you know that we were talking about like the harmonic convergence we were talking about the photon belt things like that were, were coming out and I remember reading from multiple sources that they talked about how our human bodies are going to be developing new organ systems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is pretty incredible, and here we are. Right, so this unknown entity was identified by accident by doctors in the Netherlands who were examining prostate cancer patients with an advanced type of scan called a PSMA PET slash CT scan. When paired with injections of radioactive glucose, this diagnostic tool highlights tumors in the body. In this case, however, it showed up something else entirely, nestled at the rear of the nasopharynx, and quite a long time lurker. They found these salivary glands, as you could see with the uh, arrows pointing to. So people have three sets of large salivary glands, but not there, explained radiation oncologist Wouter Vogel from the Netherlands Cancer Institute. As far as we knew, the only salivary or mucus glands in the nasopharynx are microscopically small and up to 1,000 are evenly spread out throughout the mucosa. So imagine our surprise when we found these. Salivary glands are what produce the saliva essential for our digestive system to function. With the bulk of the fluid produced by three major salivary glands known as the parotid, submandibular, and sublingual glands. There are approximately 1,000 minor salivary glands, too, situated throughout the oral cavity and the aerodigestive tract, but these are generally too small to be seen without a microscope. The new discovery made by Vogel's team is much larger, showing what appears to be a previously overlooked pair of glands. Ostensibly, the fourth set of major salivary glands located behind the nose and above the palate, close to the center of the human head. These two new areas that lit up turned out to have other characteristics of salivary glands as well, says first author of the study, oral surgeon Methagis Valstar from the University of Amsterdam. We call them tuberal, tuberal glands, referring to their anatomical location. And the interesting things about this is that they then hmm, got curious, so they went to go look. And these tuberial glands were seen to exist in the PSMA, PET, and CT scans of all the 100 patients examined in the study. And physical investigations of two cadavers, one male and one female, also showed the mysterious bilateral structure revealing macroscopically visible draining duct openings towards the nasopharyngeal wall. To our knowledge, the structure did not fit prior anatomical descriptions. Wow. So what do you think? I mean, is this a new adaptation? Is this a mutation? 
Well, I can't help but continue to think that um, could we really smell danger or taste danger? Where did these come from? Well, it's it's fascinating to see. There's been a lot of firsts that have come out in the recent past. You know, I, I personally think, well, I think this is an adaptation, a mutation. I think we are changing. As we know, um, our shields are down, so to speak. The magnetosphere is down. Uh, it's decreasing in its effective ability to block out cosmic rays. The sun's in a very calm cycle. And the solar wind is another thing that protects us from the cosmic rays out there. So we are getting bombarded with these cosmic rays and they're causing changes in us. And there's been CIA and FBI classified papers is that they knew this was going to happen. And they also know one of the side effects is we're going to become more intuitive. Our quote unquote paranormal abilities like ESP, telepathy, psychokinesis perhaps. Uh, All these different things are going to be increasing. And so they've studied that. And we were talking about the remote viewing that's been done by our government and also the Russians and and many other countries as well. It's pretty interesting to see. It really, really is. And, you know, we see here this this was from 2013 quadruple helix DNA seen in human cells. That was for the first time. And then we had little uh, Alfie Clamp who did pass on. Uh, He's not with us anymore, and this is from 2011. And he was the world's first person to have an extra strand of DNA. And then we have people like Dr. Berenda Fox, who's reporting that many people have been found with extra strands of DNA. And I've had the sneaking suspicion all along that one of the things they are testing for out there when they're giving us our test to, uh, to find out whether we have this plague that's upon the land is they're looking for genetic mutations. I believe that wholeheartedly and you know they have a system set up to where if you go to a doctor with these complaints that you hear things that aren't there see things that aren't there they have medicine for that oh yeah medicine for sure always medicine 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 for different things Um, most definitely we've been taught to fear the Sun and yet the Sun as we know is is a relay if you look at the way the brain looks and you look at the way the stars in the sky are lined up, it's like a neural network. And so, you know, the sun, our sun, gets information from the galactic central sun, transfers it to us in the form of light, which is taken into our bodies and affects every single cell in our bodies. And, you know, I've always felt like when you're talking about sunscreen and stuff, they want to block the changes that are going to be naturally occurring as part of the divine plan, so to speak. Uh, as we know, we're, we're leaving the Kali Yuga and we're heading into a new age. And it's not going to be a dark age. It's going to be an age of enlightenment. And it might be a gradual process in some ways. But as I said before, one of the things that was talked about in these circles were where they were talking about things like, again, the photon belt and you know the like was that there is going to be new organ systems discovered. So I feel like perhaps this is exactly what was foretold uh, back, I'd say, around 1987, 1988. So, you know, like 33 years ago or so. Very, very curious. But, and I'm so excited to say we have our own copy of uh, um, Robert Felix's work talking about evolutionary leaps in these times. We're going to be pouring over that and sharing that with you guys. Because, you know, he says that these are the times in which, generally speaking, about 70 percent. Yes, about 70 percent. About 70 percent of all the species on the planet will go extinct. And there will be brand new species that pop up. Yes, and it happens quickly. Quickly. And this is something that's happened in the past many times. And it's happening again. And, yeah, it's happening right now as we speak. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. There's a lot more to come as we go deeper and deeper into the mysteries of these times. As always, thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Uh, If anybody needs a session, do reach out to us, E-E-A-R-T-S at ProtonMail or EvolutionaryEnergyArts at gmail.com. We're trying to keep up with the emails, uh, but we will get back to you. And as always, guys, God bless and namaste. Namaste.